Right now, more than 21,000 people in Turkey and Syria have been killed in Monday's earthquakes, and the odds of finding people alive four days later dwindle with each passing hour. Sub-freezing temperatures are threatening thousands of survivors who are now without shelter, water, food, or medicine. But rescuers aren't giving up hope yet. Just this evening, search teams pulled out a 10-year-old girl who was buried in the wreckage for 90 hours. It took the rescue team seven hours to free her. Meanwhile, here in Chicago, dozens gather to support the victims in the Middle East. CBS 2's Jermont Terry live for us in Mount Prospect with their message and also part of Jermont. Joe and Erica, hope and healing. Two words echoed repeatedly tonight. There's hope that even those who survive will have the ability to sustain and healing for those who are dealing with so much pain. This as the community came together to show support for so many who are hurting. A somber vigil of various faiths. Be still and know that I am God. As a community comes together to reflect. It's the worst things happen in my life. Muhammad Jakir among the dozens at the Interfaith Service in Mouth Prospect looking for healing. I, I cannot express my feelings about that because I lost my friend, whole, my friend's whole family. I've been crying. It's been a week of tears for so many in this room. While Jakir lost his high school friend's entire family in the Turkish earthquakes, his own family lived. Yet survival this week has been agonizing for his loved ones. When I talk with my sister, she saying that it's, it was a horrible and they been at to stay in the car and they, my whole, whole family stay in the car. So it's imperative for Jakir to pause with friends by his side and his community support. I think it is the example of the solidarity, solidarity and the meaning of the humanity. They need to know we care and God cares. That's why Skip Lundgren, who has no ties to Turkey or Syria, attended the interfaith service. The tragedy is enormous and uh, we can't ignore that. And while the roses handed out to everyone may wither over time, the compassion shown by those gathering provides something deeper to those hurting. It gives us hope. hope. Yeah, hope. The hope is really important things in these days. You know. Now, the Turkish American Society of Chicago, one of the key organizers for tonight's vigil, they are also collecting donations and cash that will go directly to those overseas. Reporting live in Mount Prospect tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. Jermont, thank you for the update.